Hey everyone! For today's tutorial, I took a video of me playing basketball and then used computer vision to track the ball, segment my shots, detect if the ball goes into the net and animated a TV style broadcast graphic that counts how many points I scored. Yes, that's right, Remotion tutorials are back, so strap yourself in, we are going to code something awesome today. If this video is going too fast, you can always check the YouTube description to find the GitHub repository as a full example. As always, we are going to start by typing in npm init video into our terminal and this is going to give us a brand new Remotion project. We import our video and make it so that our output video has the same dimensions and length as the input video. Check our documentation on how to achieve that. We first start with the analysis phase, where we read each frame and try to detect the ball. And then move over to the preview phase, where we can use all the collected data to visualize a graphic overlay. We need to segment our process into two phases, because we want to write the video declaratively in React. And this allows us to do stuff like display the number of shots that are going to be taken even before we reached the end of the video. We are going to create a master component that renders the analyzer component initially. And once it gives us a callback, we replace it with the actual playback component that allows us to add animations on top of it. In the analyzer component, we mount an HTML5 video tag, not a video tag imported from Remotion, and draw each frame to a canvas. This allows us to get an array of all pixels for a certain frame. And here my primitive algorithm comes into play, which simply looks for pixels that are orange, and out of all those pixels, we calculate the average position. To improve accuracy further, I found that I can do that by removing 30% of the pixels that are furthest away from the center and recalculate the center again from the remaining pixels as we want to eliminate the outliers. As you can see, it works pretty well actually, at least for my video. If you want to improve the accuracy, you can swap out my algorithm and bring in a deep learning based basketball AI analyzing algorithm. But uh, this is left up to you as an exercise for the viewer. Also, my algorithm requires that we manually define where the basket is. So it is not fully dynamic, but uh, that is also the only thing that we have to hard code. Once the ball is tracked in every frame, we call back to the master component to tell it to render the playback component instead. And now we use the Remotion HTML5 video tag so that we can scrub through the timeline. Inside a use memo hook in the render function, I experimented a bit with some post-processing of the data that we have just gathered. We need to figure out how many shots have been thrown in the video and how many of them landed in the net. So I ended up with this algorithm. If the ball is above the lower end of the basket, it is currently being shot. If the ball goes below of it, the shot has ended. To determine if the ball went into the net, I simply check if the center of the ball is within the bounds of the basket. Once again, this is super primitive, but in my case, it worked out pretty nicely. So with this knowledge, we are able to derive an array of objects uh, with one object for each shot. And each object contains a start timestamp, an end timestamp, and a boolean flag that tells us whether the ball went into the net. 
My scorecard component consists of pretty standard React markup. I included a picture of me, my name and nationality, and on the right we have some sliding panels that show the last four shots taken. And after every shot the panels slide to the left to reveal a new one. To do that, for each shot I created a spring animation. Of course, every one of these tutorials must include spring animations. Um, that start when the last shot has ended. Since each value of a spring animation is between 0 and 1, we can add them together and multiply it with the width of a panel to smoothly animate the scorecard. To detect which one is the current shot, I use the array.find method in the shots array to find the first shot that has not yet started at the current time. And I indicate this shot by a pulsing light that is essentially a CSS radial gradient whose opacity I animate by taking the sinus of the current time and using that as the opacity. It's a pretty handy trick to animate a, something that should have a pulsing effect. Whenever a ball hits the net, an overlay appears that says SCORE and has some flames in the background. Each ladder appears using a spring animation of course and the flames are simply a mp4 video that I put in the background. The overlay appears and disappears in a triangular shape. To learn how to do that you should watch the next tutorial that I'm going to put out or Look into the video description and check it out in the GitHub repository. And that's it, how I made a counter for my basketball shots. Theoretically, I can now drop in a completely different video, define where the basket it is and uh, get a totally different scoreboard. Um, I think this is really cool. Actually, this was one of my childhood dreams to create videos completely dynamically like that, but I always, always felt like I either did not have the skills or there were not the right tools for the job out there. So it's kind of cool that I can now make the videos using my own tools. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please consider giving it a like and subscribe to my channel because the next tutorial is about to come out soon.